There was once an old castle that stood in the middle of high blue mountains and deep forests. And in the castle lived a powerful emperor. He was guarded by fierce soldiers on horseback with swords. And wolves howled from the forest. On the terrace of the castle, behind iron bars, was the one thing the emperor really loved, a beautiful and sad bird of paradise. Every day when the sun was brightest, the emperor would go to see his bird of paradise, parading around the castle terrace with his mounted guards. He would offer her the choicest food on golden dishes and the purest water from his crystal streams. But the bird of paradise felt very lonely, even more lonely than the emperor. She would taste hardly a morsel of food. And she would turn her head in solemn regret. And the emperor would return sadly to his castle. One day, when the emperor was looking forlornly at his bird of paradise, he heard the strains of a distant piper. For the first time, the bird of paradise began to eat. She ate more. And more. Until every dish was clean.
the emperor was overjoyed and sent his guards to summon the piper from the mountains. The emperor ordered the piper to play the tune again, but the piper, being a daring young man, made a bargain with him. First, said the piper, take down these prison bars, for with my magic tune your bird of paradise will be quite still. So the bars were taken down. And the piper began to play. As the boy finished his tune, he bent forward and kissed the bird of paradise. Immediately, the piper turned into a fine plumed falcon. Everyone was astonished as the falcon gathered the bird of paradise in his wings and carried her far, far away over the blue mountains. The emperor became very angry. He shouted in rage so much that the guards became nervous and clashed their swords. And the wolves howled as never before. On the ground was the boy's pipe. And the emperor was about to break it in two. When he had an odd desire to play it, he began. Not very well at first. He blew it this way and that, and then he found himself playing the same tune he had heard before. The soldier smiled as the emperor grew more and more pleased with himself. And the pipe gave the emperor endless happiness. And he knew he would never be lonely again.